Um, Brian, I know when you were training in those Torrance garages, you were training to become an MMA machine, but here we're at the George Foreman uh, movie premiere. What has your love and affection been like with boxing uh, throughout your adolescence and growing up and where you are today? I mean, boxing is one of the biggest keys to, to fighting, right? Every fight starts standing up. So, you're right. Going from the trenches of the garage, training nonstop. So now being here, boxing is just, boxing is life, man. I feel like fighting in general is life, you know? Yeah, we, it's one of my biggest loves is boxing. We, boxing. we see a lot of the UFC stars, they're making the transitions to these big money boxing matches. Is that something that you're interested in moving forward in your career? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, there's definitely a couple boxing fights in my career before I'm done. Well, who are those ideal opponents look like? We're going to talk to my boy right here. We're going to figure it out. You know, We're going to, we're going to figure it out. There's a lot of names out there that... that that would be a good war, a good match, strictly boxing, that I would love to, to, to get in there. So once once I figure out those names, you know, it'll be good. You've been in some featherweight wars with Volkanovski, Yair, Yair Rodriguez, of course. You're coming off two losses. What is the future looking like for you uh, in the featherweight division? I mean, you're still very highly ranked, yeah. but you, you've lost to the top two guys. Where do you see yourself moving forward after this? Just rebuilding, man. Getting back to the lab, rebuilding, and then going back in here, and then fighting these guys all over again so I can make my statements. Mm -hmm. And uh, who would you think is the next ideal opponent uh, for you and uh, in UFC? We're thinking about it right now. Uh, July, the International Fight Week of the second week. We, we have yet the names to be determined, but we're right there. Yeah, we're ready. We're getting ready, and uh, shit. So man, I'm fucking coming for everything.